Alright, we are back for the final. So let's see how things look. Two players left standing. We have uh, Kanjot playing Martel, Aloof and the part. We saw his game in the top eight. And we have, uh, or actually we saw his top four game, didn't we? Which finished uh, quite quickly. And then Marton Rakowski playing uh, Lenny Free Companies. Uh, two very strong players and two very unique decks, which is always nice to see ahead of uh, a big final. Yes, absolutely. I like it that we have uh, two decks in the final that are not common meta decks uh, at the moment. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to see how this uh, turns out. Do you have any favorites? Um, I mean, uh, in the sense, like, do, do, do you, you could say, do you have a favorite deck and think which one do you like better? And also, do you have a favorite, uh, as in, do you have uh, something, somebody who you think is going to win? Well, both decks uh, are really nice for me. Uh, I think um, the way Martel won the previous game, just by going for it and that little finger smeddling into uh, uh, someone always tells to cancel Duharis was a really nice play. Uh, so I like that. And uh, the bestow stuff also, uh, it takes a bit of skill to play all of that, to to make sure you have gold on the right characters to trigger uh, Vargo and uh, combine things with, with Shagwell correctly. So uh, it's a skill-based deck and I was uh, actually very happy to see it win the last friendly open. Uh, event four of this season and as you see uh, Martin has played it uh, in the previous two events as well and uh, yeah, I went to two in, in uh, those two so I wonder if he's made any changes because uh, now things are uh, really going well for him mm, so I like both, both decks but uh, as far as the matchup is concerned <laughs> I wonder so uh, there are a, a lot of cancels, I think, so that uh, plan to win with uh, the Viper potentially is difficult to do. But then Duran's game, also uh, a possibility, and that might be more realistic, so I'm not sure. I think maybe slight edge to Bookerman. What do you think? Yeah, so also from... I always have a slight bias towards Martel, uh, I have to admit. Um, but I, I really do like the cancel tech, and I would say he has also superior claim uh, in his arsenal. And um, Kaos does have uh, hands uh, judgment. Yeah, but so I, I would say um, uh, if he cannot pull off a very good uh, reset, you know, maybe with Ron and some bodyguards and stuff like that, I would also uh, see Bookie as a slight favorite, but. Uh, in the end, it's anyone's game to take. Oh, is so. it naval superiority again? We saw that last game. Yeah. I think it's a really nice move, to be honest. Especially if you uh, expect your deck to be relatively fast anyway. So you, uh, even if somebody, you know, plays something like your Winter Festival, which you cannot naval, um, yeah, you might not have to play it at all. Uh, because um, then... Either you win uh, in five rounds or you don't. And uh, then with your agenda, you can still um, maybe marshal a strong character as it was with Ilaria last time. So I think uh, it's a really good choice mm -hmm. and something you don't see very often. Yeah, I waste no time with that naval. I, I was thinking maybe uh, he plays both naval and, and summer harvest in the deck and then just uh, decides in the moment. So last time he had Great Hall, which meant with Great Hall, the two gold and Aloof, he could bring in a six cost character, but this time he only has one gold. So unless there is a Blood Orange Grow in, in hand, he won't be able to bring a big character in. And yeah, it's not choking everything, of course, on the other side because uh, of the Iron Bank and uh, the Free Company's agenda. Yeah, so Iron Bank at the start, of course, uh, can be really good. So uh, that he can build up his sport presence, uh, maybe on, on par with what Cookie can do with the loop. 
Or I think you're never you're never sad to see that uh, on setup with when you play free companies. Hmm, Bron with Tyrion in play, but uh, no gold. Is he uh, happy to spend the Iron Bank? He is. <laughs> That's strong. Water Gardens already with... Uh, yeah, reduces by 3 <laughs> because of the Galtan and Behest. Or uh, by 2, I should say. So, able to bring in uh, Star Recept. And that could gain some quick power. And then, do you use its ability? I think most decks that play the Star Recept uh, just want the power gain first of all, but uh, maybe occasionally can be useful if a character like Cersei is going to gain power anyway. May as well blank her to stop her kneeling, uh, to stop her uh, remain remaining standing basically in the Intrigue Challenge. Also for Tyron, that can really make a big swing and a challenge. Um, if he loses three or four uh, power, maybe. Uh, not power screen. Mm, the runs game lost. Could make a difference at some point. And now two gold has been gained. Let's see if there was uh, an ambush character. Losing gold mine, and now we have that non kneeling Andres again. Being able to do two challenges, no renown. I really like Anders, the card. It's one of my favorite uh, ones uh, that, that came out after the redesign. So this kind of uh, it both plays uh, with the general theme of Martel going second, but um, you know it also has you know pushes a different aspect. And you have to make the trade-off that Intimidate is usually so much stronger when you go first, but uh, you, know, you want to have that. And, and this is always what I, what I love when these cards are so designed that you really have to make a strategic or a tactical uh, you know, trade-off uh, in this situation. And, uh, it's, it's, it's a really well-designed card. It's good, but it's not too good. Yeah, in the previous game, I... Uh instinctively understood it uh, as uh, he doesn't kneel when he's declared as a defender if you are a second player because that obviously works out a lot better for you most times but uh, yeah it's the other way around here how siren would trade sometimes does things as well you can there is an event that can uh, be used with how siren would characters i think it gives them renown and uh, no kneeling ability. Yeah. And uh, he might also play Lord Anders host. Ah, in aloof. That's uh, okay, doesn't reduce the ambush, but he's played pretty much all the big characters that exist so far, so we'll see what else comes out. We have a novel cause this time. So something big for sure. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I would say a one-off flood under house might make sense in the deck, but 
maybe it would be too much. The question is if he ever has uh, eight, eight gold to spare in one <laughs> round for, for the huge ambush. Uh, if he does not, then maybe uh, it's, it's the lost card. Okay, so anything triggered now can be cancelled with Begum rather than the Red Keep. So some passive strength here would be nice. Now let's see if Water Gardens gets uh, cancelled now. Yeah, he might want to save his uh, cancels actually for the Star Reset, or for uh, the power gain of the Star Reset. Um, that's going to amount for quite a lot. Hmm, or, yeah, Star Recept can be used to put power on Begging Brother to blank it, so that's uh, something that uh, could be cancelled. Yeah, but then you can do it as often as you like. So, um, oh. I think the, the, the only effective cancel you can do is when it gains power. <laughs> right, so it cancels the move and there's no limit. Yeah, I've done that before. I've cancelled stuff that can't be cancelled, like the Star Recept. Yeah, so that means if something really needs to trigger, then uh, Begging Brother can't do anything against it, but the Red Keep, of course, still can. No Printed Renown. So it's not going very fast and one runs game gone. Oh. oh, okay, he sets the defense. Interesting, yeah, so he can get the trigger from uh, Star Reset, which probably is going to get cancelled, uh, but then he can get the second trigger on. on Let's it go. Oh, okay. Now we can still uh, cancel the next one if he likes. So Edric, Edric also doesn't have a limit. It's just triggering, triggering him to spend uh, Begging Brother. Not so easy to um, to just do that against this deck because it refills uh, the golden cards. But still, third game that we're seeing now, but no Casterly Rock. I really, really think he should have used that key to stop at least one power on the star reset and actually not attack on power. So that's two, three power. Yeah, so what is the the red keep going to do? He's uh, basically let go all the triggers. Looks like it's just going to stay standing. Yeah, I guess. I mean, sometimes uh, I have it when I play that, okay, there are so many things that I want to uh, cancel and then that I can't really decide and then also don't cancel anything. So maybe that happened here else. I cannot really maybe. explain why he would do that. 
Maybe he was waiting for the river gate. Book went down yeah. to one card in hand. Mm, political disaster. And that's a double dealing again. So what are the options this time? Uh, naval... Does look like it works, doesn't it? Also, noble cause works. Yeah, interesting. Uh, economy not so important if you have the iron bank so that's uh, one advantage definitely for this deck and he's go going for noble cause looks like he has a, a lord or hoping to draw one at least It has good initiative, but apart from that, just playing noble cars, <laughs> then that's good. And, uh, then everything about the deck from Martin seems really well done, but double dealing has not convinced me yet. <laughs> Six gold. Needs some for the red keep again, presumably. Oh, actually, a bit. Uh, yeah, that's the noble cause reduction, of course, for timing. So this time, Hunters does not work. On the other hand, he of course has Intimidate. Hmm, okay. Fever Dreams, we've seen that in every game. Draws some nice cards here. And no gold for Edric. Okay, so Rihanna has uh, her ability, she returns to hand as cost. And if that gets cancelled, of course, that's uh, quite a hit. So I guess uh, she won't be used. She will just do a challenge. So military with uh, Anders, and now he has to decide whether he wants to defend. Uh, uh, with Tyven, uh, and he, ha he has to take Tyven and Bron because else he would just blank Tyven and still win the challenge. And if he does not, he will intimidate somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Or uh, you play Nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good choice. So Braun can uh, just always save Tyrion, I guess, and there is no real claim. Yeah, he's a bit the Maester Aemon of uh, Lannister now, right? Yeah. 
that guy was so he could have returned him to hand, but chose not to. He's done that uh, last time as well. Okay, and finally, Bukeman can't uh, push anything else through. So, let's see if there is any counter. So he wants the red key back, he needs to do an intrigue. So the Tyrion can gain gold. Power obviously also very important here. Since uh, it is 9-3. And I'm sure he wouldn't mind some insight on myself. what the last card was. Circlitus makes sense. He would have been up to plus four for the initiative value already. Ah, okay, going military and not power. So seems like this is all he can do. Now Bookie had to kill Edric, so he, else he would be too he would be too vulnerable to Valar Morgulus, and Edric was actually also not bad to get rid of uh, for Martin because he can have stealth, so you can always stealth uh, Tyvon. Might have been a good idea to, to push the military here. <laughs> no magic this time with uh, someone always tells, but he has wildfire assault as the reset. Uh, everything seems to go be going perfectly here against uh, the smith. One attachment in play can. Uh, Potentially get rid of uh, water gardens. And what is going to be kept here? So Tywin, Tyrion and... Maybe the begging brother. Bronn. He uh, basically stops any military claim. So we saw that uh, this was quite useful. And now... I guess uh, some top decking luck needed. Even yeah. though the three characters are strong, there are only three. Here's that pinch again for sure. And the hound just marshaled. I guess he wants uh, two uses from him. All right, Sweet Sleep will stop uh, Fever Dreams, it will also stop any chance of uh, Pinch on the Viper. And what is this going to call? He, it could just call the Hound so that he can't uh, re-enter play. Or could call Pinch. Mm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a good question. Which one will be more effective? Uses the red keep on this one, which means that uh, Ariana now potentially can work if she has a good target. So she's stuck at five strength, and uh, everything on the other side, well, diving and uh, the hound are big, so she would need to target uh, one of the other two. And questionable whether it's worth it. She's uh, discarded for intrigue climb as well then. But she could clear clear the way for unopposed if uh, if the opportunity presents itself because uh, uh, Bukema is on 10 power, so power claim with uh, Starry Sept and things are getting close. And is there uh, a cancel for the Viper? I don't think there is, so he could trigger this round. Now the strongest icon is power at the moment, which is at 18, but Tywin is so big that uh, Tywin and the Hound and Tyrion all defend it. Okay, so we have Martin going for challenges. That gets uh, characters knelt or gets the Hound off the board so he can uh, come back in. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah. It's a really interesting situation. I think what the plan is to, to just attack now, not uh, to defend for Bukerma. Hmm, that's keeping the Hound in play. Okay, 9-8 with that trigger. Well, if Intrigue is done, that's uh, a bigger problem because of the pinch. But also keeping that huge tie in to defend against the counter attack is uh, I'm sure tempting here. Yeah. And uh, as soon as you give him a power with all time, he's not so, so big anymore. And probably push through. Okay, Tyrion will get two more gold. <laughs> Blanking that hound was really nice there because uh, he could have uh, come back in. Now that gets time into 13. At the moment, in all three icons. And uh, now, do we see pinch here? Hmm, okay, but bringing the strength of Braun down to zero, so it's actually four for the challenge, and that means Pinch won't be triggered. Nice play, but he did have to give two power away to do it. Yeah. 
Now if he uses it on Tywin and there is no ambush, for instance, Tywin is 6. And then he attacks with... how much? 18 against 6, so that's only... That's only too power for the Viper. Mm, Alright. Yeah, it's a problem, Pinch is still on, so if he uh, wins this one, he will trigger the Pinch again. So I guess defend with two, or uh, do the Star Recept trick again. I mean, it would definitely use Star Recept because he gains uh, one power anyway. So you Star Recept and then defend with Ariane. Losing by seven at the moment. Okay, so he's still going to lose. Twelve six, and now best case scenario, unopposed power will be eight. Star Recept will be nine. Two for the Viper will be 11. Smooth three. Yeah. That's, that's another nightmare. So. Okay, so slightly different, but uh, the power gain will be the same, and of course he gets rid of, of a card this way for claim as well. Yeah, smart. Hmm, there was some ambush. And that's going to stop the power gain from the Viper? No, it's not. Never mind. Oh, it returns Brawn to hand. That's interesting. So is the plan now just to play Morghulis, get rid of Tywin and the Hound with their power? I'm actually surprised to see if he also runs Morghulis. Yeah, electric. Not. Military, right? Mm, no. Maybe yeah, uh, else he would have lost dominance, and maybe he didn't uh, want not to come to twelve. Okay, I'm surprised. Littlefinger is meddling with uh, one card in hand, that's of course Ariana now. And uh, Martin wins the initiative, so no Morghulis play. There is some hand knowledge of course now. He could uh, use the throne to s just say Brawn and hope there's nothing else but six cards. Well, six cards, eight cards, there could be other stuff. There is Sweet Sleep as well. Um, not useful, never mind. And Martin selects Bukerma to go first, which is interesting again. So he's gambling that he can't get from 10 to 15 in one challenges phase with uh, power claim, star recept and whatever else there is.
There she is, back. Seven gold, the Iron Throne did name Braun. Mm. Okay, Sir Gregor not going to, to stop the win uh, here on with Duran's game or, or the Viper Trigger or anything like that because he doesn't have the icon, but uh, I don't think it's really on. <laughs> going for it. Now what magical card could be in hand that helps him just been in this challenge and no gold well he has little fingers meddling so I guess uh, princess plan for plus six or something but then uh, the red keep just uh, denies the viper he's gonna win the challenge right um yes 18. Yeah, if nothing comes uh, in here, it should be enough. Okay, now Intimidate, no power icons on the other side, but still uh, 2 gold and the Tyrion trigger potentially, and it's 12-10, so I suspect that maybe even Martin cannot close it here, unless and he has a power icon with ambush. He should pinch uh, Gunther, because it's gonna go get give him a post anyway. Ah, I that. Okay. Mm, and prized given away. I forgot about that. So prized for Rian and prized for uh, Anders. Well, not with three, so he's not going to be pinched. <laughs> superior claim is the one he had. So he got to twelve with superior claim. Would have been uh, fourteen if he did win by five, which he couldn't. Yeah, to achieve all of this, he had to give so much power away with the Starry Sept. If he, that was still on the Starry Sept, of course, he would be on 15 by now. And looks like we're going into another round, are we? So there's Renown. And, uh, and Dominance. Dominance. Right? So? <laughs> Any magic? Oh, that's really vicious. I did not see him coming uh, back like that. Really well played. Yeah, uh, I think this was actually a, a very fun game to watch. Really yes. close. Both players uh, getting close and some nice plays here. Congratulations to Martin, our new friendly open season winner. Yeah. Very well built deck, very well played, and also congratulations to Pokemon. Uh, second place, very close game, very entertaining, so congratulations to both. Yeah, winning two in a row as well for uh, Martin. Really nicely done with his uh, one deck that he's um, perfected, it seems. So, uh, uh, do you know where uh, Martin is from? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Okay, so let's uh, check his profile. That seems like somewhere from uh, Central Europe. Uh, judging by the uh, nationals he's played in and different events we see from uh, 
events in Hungary, in Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, so uh, really experienced player as you can see, but uh, coming back uh, from a break uh, just for these uh, friendly open events after uh, two years away from the game, so nice to have him back and uh, nice to see him winning this one. So um, yeah, just uh, something else I want to say, so today we also remember our previous uh, friendly open champion Yuechi Wu from China who tragically passed away last month and he was a beloved member of the Chinese community and uh, our friend here in the friendly open series so uh, uh, once again our condolences to everyone who knew him so this is uh, all we had today hope you enjoyed it and uh, Hannes, do you know where, uh, when the next uh, friendly open can be expected? Well, um, we're actually still uh, discussing it. We might do it in fall, and we're thinking about whether we make it a, a road to Stalag um, theme or whether we just uh, do do a regular one, season eight. So I would say uh, stay tuned. Uh, we will figure out something really, really nice. Um, that we can play uh, in fall and that will also be after some of the nationals so we hope to see some national champions uh, competing there as well yes definitely and also nice to see uh, the game being played in person as well so hoping to see a lot of you at Stalek actually in uh, November all right so I guess uh, uh, that uh, is it for today so thanks again uh, Hannes for joining me always great to have uh, company in these uh, events thanks for streaming me it was a pleasure take care all right bye bye